Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL number 45 round of 32 match between Hesdorn and his Lizardmen versus Binkit and his Necromantic. In the booth with me is Corfool. Hello! And good afternoon, little wrestlers. <laughs> Glorious. Lovely to have you in the house, yeah. Um, so, crazy team, right? right? <laughs> This crazy team, two strength five, two strength five, so three strength five total, strength three. Thing. Um, the Necro aren't that exciting, are they? There's also no tackle on these, so they're going to struggle to deal with all these positionals. Got a Blodge Guarder, got obviously both walls of Blodge as they always are. Tackler, Tackle 90, Tackle Lodge 4. Binkit has a Wizard and a Bribe. Very interesting. It, it It's... Th that Necro team is fun because it's like if this had been in the in the like in 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 CCL, this team is amazing. Yeah. For the t team value, but in the playoff, yeah, you and always want no the guard extra on stuff. The and there's no guard on either flesh either. Yeah. Yeah, fifteen and eleven. <laughs> so maybe you should have played a few more games. It might have been a r late run though, might not it? Bit weird, um, and it, like this lizard team, if it meets any 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 good elf team, like a good wood elf team, this is toast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's two mighty blow. Those two string five mighty string five mighty blow has to carry a lot in that matchup. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna re yeah they're gonna really struggle on there. No, no sure hands, no tackle. Uh, but against all the bash teams, they've got you know they haven't got enough guard really. Uh, yeah, it's a bit weird. <laughs> Both teams are a little, little bit in the middle of no man's land. Yeah. Yeah, you'd definitely rather have a two thousand TV Chris team, wouldn't you? <laughs> but you know, there, there is something to be said for TV efficiency, isn't there, and uh, inducements and stuff. The wizard is is makes him not want to carry on this string three. Clearly, he's uh, he's deciding to go for the rookie the rookie pickup. I don't know. I think I'd have taken it on the on a sidestepper still. I guess he just couldn't reach, could he? But I mean, he's set up to pick up on the rookie, which I like having sidestep, especially against wolves, right? Yeah. But but even even not against walls, just like I just feel like having the sidestep. Side lane, opens. like if you're getting problems, side lane cage and stuff like that. It's just no fun. Stunty dodges as well. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would have just I would have just wanted the ball on this guy. Yeah, like even though he can get bolted. Um, it would have just been. I just think it just gives you so much. Like the the ball carry is very weak now, isn't he, against a non wizard? But which you love, show hands. I mean, there you go. Yeah, like it's interesting, isn't it? Like blood. Like once you've taken the block, you would probably take the strength. I think. I'm, I'm, I'm taking show hands since he doesn't have any. Yeah. It, it certainly oh. makes the strength more tempting, though, doesn't it, by going block first? Yeah. However, how, I would have taken show sure hands first. <laughs> how, how, I will be proven wrong in this game, I'm sure, but how often in this team where, where you have two strength five with Mighty Blow, is you going to use that strength three for anything else to be just running around? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> true. But he's got size and diamond tackle, right? So I guess, I guess but by the fact he's taken diamond tackle second, like, if you're taking, like, you know, sidestep and then sure feet or whatever, or if you'd cycled him and you'd gone sidestep, yeah. sure hands, then it's a lot easier. But when, once you like once you've got bludge step and diving tackle, then that also, you know, weights the strength five a bit heavier, doesn't it? You're right, mine has probably not survived to get those two skills anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would have de I would have definitely taken sidestep, sure hands. And then a block on the second. Even even against elves. I don't know. It's kind of tempting though. It's kind of tempting. Like strength three is pretty good against elves, isn't it? It's pretty good. So like, because imagine if like you'd carried on playing and he'd gone sidestep, sure hands, strength three, and then got a block as well. It'd be amazing, wouldn't it? So you do need something amazing against elves, really, because 
you could very much get in trouble. I mean, they, they're just both both teams needed more games on them, didn't they, for Chalice? But then, you know, you can play another game and get your uh, Soros AV busted or killed. So there is the tension of yes, you want more development, but more development isn't guaranteed, is it? You're not guaranteed to not lose players. And, but that's we back to what we often talk about. If you're happy to be in Chalice, or if you want to be able to win in Chalice, it's yeah. two different things. Yes, that's true. That's true. And you can still have like a decent run, and you can probably still win it with a team like this, didn't you? Try, try, try win it with like a very TV efficient team, didn't you? Um, so you, you still can win it. You just need uh, a bit more luck. Uh, hello, Frosty. Uh, the ne my next round game is at 7 p.m. on Monday night. There you go. Just before Claw again. Sa same deal as last week. I'll try. I'll try and book them for then <laughs> in the future. <laughs> it's because they're big, LOD. A, a skink for Muppet is like a terrifying monster of a <laughs> of a creature. <laughs> Some of us would be afraid of them biting them, biting our ankles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly right. For for most people, you see a skink and you're like, oh no, he might he might bite my knee. For Muppet, he's like, oh my god, he's gonna go straight for my head. <laughs> This is a bit a bit weak, isn't it, to the side here? Oh my god, now it's very weak to the side here. It's it's not there at all? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And he's even conceded the zombies not to getting hit because that's how scary that Necro team is. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, that's, that's wild that isn't it? <laughs> at least lizards are slow. <laughs> it's not that slow, it's movement sakes. I know, yeah, that's um, <laughs> movement six, strength fours, and movement eight to strength twos. Yeah, they're one of the fastest teams of the round. That seems. Someone else did this, you know, against Orcs. Uh, Skaven did this against Orcs, just opened up the, the half of the field, it seems. <laughs> not what I would do. He's not even taking it. Boy, howdy. What the. Boy, He's... howdy. It's like they've made an agreement to be going down the side. <laughs> yeah! Have the booby trap the other side of the pit. <laughs> it's like trap doors and everything. Yeah. It is early, it is early, Muppet, but you can layer it against what the wizard. That's the thing, right? You can still take the space. You don't You don't need to, like, you know, you're not... You can still just, like, move here, right? You can still move here, and you can completely layer against the wizard. Who's he blitzing over there? And like you're just sticking yourself on this flank anyway. It's not as even like you go, you know, at least go back to the middle, right? Even if you don't want to take this, at least go back to the middle, not just pile in the side. Like a bit weird. I'm, I don't like this. Now he's doing both. What the fuck is going? <laughs> yeah. It is, it is Corfu, hard to pronounce for English people, but, uh, also known as K-Fogged, or PTK, or any number of Big Kev, the, the man with many names, <laughs> but he is the number one ranked, probably, on tabletop NAF coach, is that, is that true, still? Maybe. If you don't know who he is, you should watch the JFW. There you go. Blood Bowl Buddha. <laughs> he's very good at the Blood Bowls. And if not, he's number one ranked in uh, in our heart. Yeah, maybe, maybe he's <laughs> maybe he's he's doing something else, or his microphone his microphone cut out a little bit. So, you know, who knows? I'm gonna imagine he's talking to me. <laughs> yeah, I was getting some wasabi peas. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, exactly, Muffet. Exactly. Uh, there you go. If you don't know who he is, this is his Good one evening, little series. wrestlers. What can I do for um, you? On YouTube's very good. Who yeah. doesn't know who I am? <laughs> Rick Baseman. No, it's just been a little while since he heard the voice, that's all. Ah, uh, yeah. So, yeah, this is a bit weird, isn't it? He went, he went, he went in with these two. I would have rather rotated everything around, but I guess this is okay. Like, it's not that exposed, is it? I guess the 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 necro have limited guard themselves, don't they? So maybe he just thinks he can generate blocks by going in there. Wow, wow! The problem with giving that hit was <laughs> he gets Kaz back. Yikes. Did, did he push him? Did he blitz him and push him? Yeah. Probably. That was... Uh... But did he not blitz? Yeah, yeah, he did look... Gok of the Pyramid chose his push. And yeah. then he got blocked. So yeah, he, so he did blitz him, I guess. And he then did, he got but blocked. Still... But he, he knew what he was blitzing. Yeah. Brutal. Yeah, the crocs. The crocs did like kind of isolate himself. Yeah, but I guess it's it's not so bad when you've got uh, when you've got three crocs. But he's just given up a hit again, hasn't he? Like he just no, he's able to just bink it, just playing for the hits, maximize blocks, get the hits back, and one of them was a cas. Bricktop was great, wasn't it? And so the weird that, again, Hestor didn't need to do this at all. There was no reason. Yeah. yeah. And he even got a bribe as well, doesn't he? He might even foul that shit. Yeah, yeah, he shouldn't. F he should not stand firm here, should he? <laughs> he should absolutely not stand firm. I don't know, there's, there's no one to foul with, really, is there? You're not going to foul the guard. With, uh, I might have been tempted if it's Crocs, but it's armor break anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, you, I guess you just foul with the. Uh... Yeah, and if you stun him, then you could come back with a dirty player. I guess with a bribe, you still foul him, right? Even with Why do you take guard on top of dirty player? I guess it's still guard, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> it's the great Shawnee argument, is that it's hard to, <laughs> you know, it's hard to compare any skill. To, like to guard because it's not guard. <laughs> like guard is really, really good, isn't it? It is, but we got it's also a ton of team value now on a movement tree zombie. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's. I mean, it's, a, it's a, it's a horrible, it's a horrible, horrible zombie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's paying, he's paying ninety TV for a movement three guard zombie, but. It's still guard, isn't it? It's still guard. Uh, I skipped that. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, Sean, but he's not playing versus Rick. Yeah, what a ridiculous record his Dawn has against Rick. Absolutely ridiculous. Like, z zero two eight. Rick is against his Dawn. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy, isn't it? And, and now, after seeding the half last turn, now it would just be a desperation push, wouldn't it? Whereas he could have like made a comfortable, a comfortable move over here last turn, and have it all laid up, wonderful. But now, but if I'm... he wants to move down, it's got to be like kind of a desperation move. And he might have to as well, eh? Yeah, I and mean, he lost one string five. The next string five is. Stock on a shitty zombie and the Earth Spring 5 is stunned. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's brutal. I don't even hate if you blitz, if blitz with that String 5 to get it free and get it away from that. Yeah. I didn't even hate that because now it's not there. Wait. And I've stunned the boy zombie on the pitch. Yeah. 
but where do you blitz? Like, I would I would have blitzed this guy probably if I was gonna uh, if I you know if I wasn't blitzing with strength five, I would have probably blitzed up with a guarder to try and do that. Cause he's always just fishing for powers. Well, gets a power. Yeah, fishing for pals feels bad, doesn't it? But I guess it's a really good player, so taking him out, you know, if you get lucky, it's it's really good, isn't it? Yeah, but now he needs to watch out where he puts it. He it needs to watch out this whole team. Like this is a this is a tricky turn, isn't it? It's good for him, it's not blitz, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah he kind of needs to do something, or otherwise it's just risk getting picked off. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't mind, I didn't mind the blitz, and then like, one, two, three, four, five. And then like, you know, get these two ahead. And then ball around here, and like, okay, you're going to get put in pressure, you might score early, but it's better than not scoring, isn't it? And like getting turned over and losing, which is which you've got to looks like his chances are getting worse and worse as the half goes on. I don't know, Sean, but too low, <laughs> too low. I think so. Yeah, two two dice needing a six, then nine plus into eight plus is like three point five or something without a reroll. Wow. It's it's not it's it's not particularly uh, appealing odds. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh wow, this is pretty cool. One point four percent. We've got here um, from Mordric. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, I knew. I knew about Samba. Yeah, yeah. There's some, like Samba's the one that's got more things to it. But that's that. That looks nice. I like the Mordric one. That looks. That looks nice. Because you've got... Oh, all yeah, oh, right, there's an injury roll on Samba. I didn't even realise that. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Samba's a little bit more precise, isn't it, actually? In terms of... They've got more decimal places. <laughs> <coughs> and you also... It's 3.5. If you only take KO, it doesn't account for if you actually cast it. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reroll. So yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, KO so is 3.5. Three, yeah, both cast OKO, and it's 1.4 to actually cast it. Yeah, but yeah, 3.5. But Samba's a bit, but the problem is Samba still, for some of us, it doesn't account for multiple rebuilds. Yes, yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot less good in the new, in the new uh, rules, isn't it, Samba? People, I'm sure there's people working on that. Mm. Where you can add multiple rebuilds to it. Because it should, it's not much harder, it's just assuming how many you have. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be chance with one reroll, two rerolls, three rerolls, four rerolls, or whatever, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. And you still cannot reroll a dice more than once, it's still. Elliot keeps saying that dice don't matter. You're joking, aren't you? It's Dio, but um, dice do matter, yeah. yes. <laughs> but, and, and what Dio's saying is not. It's not that there's no. It's that no dice, but the, the point is not so much if there's dice or not. The point is if it, it, it not the result matter, but if you do the right thing, even if your dice are shared, that might still be the right thing to do. Yes, and you've, and you know, in the long term, in the long term, dice are going to be the least relevant thing, right? Because that's going to balance out over time. And also, you can't influence the dice. There's no point worrying about them. So there's lots of there's lots of things, but ultimately, 
dice have the biggest impact in who wins or not? Yeah, in an individual game, of course, the matter. Yeah. Oh, he's still, he's still not. He refuses to go into that half of the pitch. <laughs> the thing, he's booby trapped it. <laughs> yeah. This was nice, wasn't it? Tagging the uh, tagging the crocs with this. this yeah, movie. chain pushing it away from you. I was wondering what he was doing, but it makes sense. He yeah. chain pushed it away from the guard and then tagged it so it doesn't move. Yeah. But he frees up his guard player. Yeah, very nice. Very nice move. I like that. And then got the got the got the removal as well, thanks to uh, thanks to this rather odd. Taking a guard, taking a mighty blow, goo when you starve for guard. But I guess maybe he took that when he had like skilled up fleshies, and then maybe they both died. But even then, I don't know. I still like guard. No, I think dice matter the most. Like on a on a purely like it's unlikely that dice matter the most, but dice that do matter the most, if you know what I mean. Because if I was to play my mum at Blood Bowl and she rolled all sixes and I rolled all ones, she will still win by accident. <laughs> right? <laughs> so like well we'll win by uh by by winning by uh by the turns, just automatic automatic uh automatic touchdowns, right? Because there's no players. So so you could lose to literally anybody in the world if the dice were good enough. Bad enough. And and then teams because I I don't care how good K Fog plays if he's got a rookie if he's got a rookie team and I've got the the Claw Pom Globe Rotters <laughs> he, he's gonna find it very 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 difficult to win <laughs> so I think it probably goes in terms of dice teams and then player to be honest and hence why you can say in like Nevs. And resurrection tournament style to try to take take away some of the team element of it. Yeah. Blood Bowl two AI playing. Yeah, even the Blood Bowl two AI can beat you if it only rolls sixes and you only roll ones. You will lose to the Blood Bowl two AI probably. <laughs> probably. And I feel like you would struggle to beat the Blood Bowl 2 AI if it had the Claw Palm Globe Rotters. Yes, that's that's a good point, Squirrel. You can't guarantee that the AI will score unopposed. <laughs> but it would still probably pitch clear you. It would pr still probably pitch clear you. Like, you know, if every single block it made killed a guy and every single dice you roll failed. Unless you knew what was happening and you stopped rolling dice. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, then chances are yeah so that eats the blitz and he still doesn't really get back to a good spot but he needs to try yeah because you could you might just as well go back and at least tie up all the zombies yeah you could double GFI <laughs> I think mean, yeah just tag or at least get the zombies out of the game yeah I mean this is great right especially if uh, especially if they are uh, only push him. Like they're only fifty five percent of power here, aren't they? And it's it's taken up four players. With block and stand firm, yeah, I mean that that's the obvious good place to go. Okay, let me just ban this asshole. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is a terrible wizard spot here. Absolutely terrible. That's why I kind of hate just seeding the field to them. They're in a lot of trouble, and they just they just gave them this. Like what a unbelievable! Like this is such an unbelievably strong formation, isn't it? You've you, you've you've removed two like two good players. One of the guarders, one of the strength fives. You'd isolated the crocs, and then all of a sudden you've just given him all of this. Like it's crazy, isn't it? Prime real estate. Yeah. Oh, he's gone for the claw blitz and multi hit. Oh, 
Or you can you can not stand firm and then not stand firm again, right? Because he's probably going to have to push him up, and then you can push him there. I just stand firm. I get some on the other one, and I guess now you don't stand firm for a better foul. Well, a, a, a less bad foul. Oh, he gets cast in. There you go. <laughs> I think personally, I'm, yeah, I'm, I like not stand firm. No matter what, if you go down, at least you go down closer to where you want to go. But yeah, cares if you just roll tens. Yeah, yeah. Because if you, if you if you don't stand firm and he pu if he pushes you up, he's got to push the ghoul there, right? Because he can't get let the ghoul get hit yeah. by the strength five. So then, if he pushes you again, you're here, which is a great spot. If he wins, does he fire the cross? I don't know. No. It's just missing next game. Yeah, yeah, and he could just get a Merc one, couldn't he? Like Merc big guys are pretty good because they don't even have a they don't even have a uh yeah, yeah. They don't they don't gain longer, do they? They already had it. And yeah, silly Billy, yeah. Not even 3k C Pom Nurgle Penemy, the, the Claw Pom Globrotters, which are about 6k TV, and have like, you know, a mixed team of Claw Pommers and Strength 7 Warriors with with uh, tentacles and, and natural one turners. So, yeah, even even uh, even the Blood Bowl 2 AI, like, you just couldn't do anything against it, basically, with a, with a 1000 TV team. Uh, I, should, I should try, I should play that game, shouldn't I? I should play the versus the AI and see if they beat me. I thought Silly Billy was about 230 or 240. Maybe even 220, I don't know. He could be 250. He's pretty cheap. So yeah, again, no pressure on the ball. Like you could you could just skip the turn here, couldn't you? This is this is fine. <laughs> Cheney's I know Cheney is 240. I don't know how, how much silly Billy is. Now, oh, what's he doing? 250. Thank you. He's probably scared to blitz a fleshy again after the last time he, he did, he got cast out. <laughs> but also, you don't want to get too far forward, right? He could just end the turn. Uh, yeah, 220, yeah. There isn't there isn't an argument for just staying. Alright, like, you know, like maybe he's with somebody or whatever. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna hit the flashy no. He's gonna have to. And the problem is this might force him to score on like turn six. He hasn't really got anywhere to retreat to. <laughs> yeah, that is. That is. That is dedication to suffering, yeah. Maybe this is score turn seven. Surely he's gonna have to go in this turn. Yeah. The necro bink it. He's got to go in this turn, hasn't he? Surely, surely, surely. <laughs> doesn't seem so. No, he doesn't. Doesn't seem to be aware of how frenzy works. 
<laughs> yeah, thanks, Dirty Rascal. It's true as well. It's true. Raina said it. Raina said it in the chat. Raina said it in the chat, so I was like, I'm, I'm nabbing that for my Twitch bio. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe it looks like I'm being a twat and, and haven't moved on. I'll change it. I'll change it. Because, like, I just thought it was funny. But maybe people will think I'm being a dick. To be fair. I'll, I'll edit it because it'll look like people will think I'm a cunt. A C not. Yep. Yeah, like you, yeah. Skin gear. Skin gear, so protecting. Yeah, he finally protected the surf. <laughs> but. Wouldn't he kind of at least make the surf really awkward if, if you just put the skin one scrap forward instead of getting three diced? You could still make it really awkward with the guard behind as well. Yeah. It looks like I'm bitter and twisted. So I'm, I'll change it. Because I'm not. I'm not actually bitter and twisted, and I'd rather move on from petty squabbles and vendettas. So. I've changed it already, anyway. I haven't looked at PC's bio. Does he does he mention his swimming badge? Normally, it's been in there for a while, so I imagine it still is. <laughs> that is the most important thing in that bio. <laughs> Fumble Table Bowl Tabletop and Blood Bowl 2 Blood Bowl Coaching Legend. <laughs> <laughs> Three hundred meter swim badge holder. There you go. That is definitely the most important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the only crocs to survive. Yeah. <laughs> it is funny having three crocs, isn't it? This has taken a long time. This game, hasn't it? I couldn't be less interested. Like the necro is still not going in. <laughs> I'm bamboozled. I'm absolutely bamboozled. In the turn for fuck's sake! In the fucking turn, man! Because now now it's too late, right? If they don't go in this turn, isn't it? I thought they had because now they can stay and then they can go in next turn, but then they can probably stall for a turn after they go in, can't they? So I think they should have gone in. Last turn the Necro. Like, yeah. Because now the this the the sort like the lizard men stay here and then turn seven go right to the sideline, don't they? Right stall like go back one stall harder. It's definitely uh or a micro team that's been removing it. This has left the right. It's definitely a very careful approach. Yeah. But like this is really weird. <laughs> One square of no man's land. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Really weird, isn't it? But yeah, I mean, there's no need. There's no need to defend if you just like Kaz every time you hit somebody, I guess. <laughs> but 
But at least did you see that's a Necro that's crossed the line. Who it's going the... in the white, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, holy moly. Yeah. What a rowdy choice. Surely you're just moving back to make it so awkward. Yeah. And this time he's just doing what I said, putting it just in front. Yeah. To make it a bit awkward. So pfft. <laughs> Okay, good. We're back. We're back to. We've got the no man's land now. <laughs> That's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> oh, as two Welshmen, <laughs> the commentators are completely uh, impartial. <laughs> oh, dear. God, it's long, isn't it? This is going long. Especially after playing three games of one minute turns. <laughs> yeah, we, we played three <laughs> games in the time it's going to take them to play one. <laughs> oh, he moved. He moved. Way. Okay, you're not going to move any of the last pieces. Just end turn. Oh, oh he, he is. is. He is, he is, he is. Oh, what a dramatic last move. <laughs> change everything. <laughs> End of turn with two seconds to spare. Yeah, could have let it run out by then. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It's a shame that I lost the game in which I made the best the best blitz pit move anyone's ever made, which <laughs> we're out of time and let your opponent snake. <laughs> that was pretty epic. <laughs> that was like a full Gadenic reality warping moment, wasn't it? I know it's gonna be a dub skull <laughs> or a double one, I'll just I'll just do absolutely nothing and let my time run out. <laughs> If he's not going in, he might as well try to claw palm the last string five. Yeah, n now there now there is a motivation to not go in because you can claw him, yeah, and, and you foul can claw him, him into a gang foul. I I might even like that. Yeah, yeah, because you too you too late to put pressure on now. So yeah, I think this is probably the best play now. Yeah. Yeah, this is super. This is a super good play, isn't it? To be fair. Because you've got you've got the double hit with the claw, and then you've got the hit with the mighty after as well, haven't you? And then the the big gang foul. But 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 <laughs> but what 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 is going on here? I, I I mean, I guess he's going in as well. But surely you're going to hit the strength five. Like you can, can't you? The 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 zombie can come in there. Oh, the, uh, otherwise you go the rowdy uh, three times two tackle zones and get a two one, two dice on the ball. Boy, howdy, that would be rowdy. If Boy, it's howdy, elf, that would be rowdy. If it's an elf, I'm taking those four plus four plus four plus. Yeah. Hello. Sure Shh. What you can oh god, well, I don't know who he's blitzing now. What is going on? I don't know. Didn't you say the pink kid had a bribe as well to go with? Yeah. Just free dicing the skink. Oh. It turns out when it was maybe the turn more sensible <laughs> to do what he's done for the previous six turns, he'd stop doing it. <laughs> oh, get the cards. Classic Reddit strats. Just just hit the skinks and kill them. Yeah, don't hate it, but but he just literally still just. Three plus from having a perfect fine gauge. Yeah. 
if he doesn't just he might I just don't understand not going in next turn because now it's an obvious like it's it's an easy withdrawal for a turn isn't it yeah it is. if we can just three plus It would have cast the source of the mighty blow, yeah. Of course it will. If I was Binker, I'd be saving my whiz to bolt that ghoul I took mighty blow on for some godforsaken reason. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, you can just blitz with the strange five and just move him back and then he's in a nice fine cage. Yep. Uh, I, I don't hate the mighty blow on the ghoul, honestly. The, the problem with mighty blow on the ghoul is... is what did we... Okay. Is he gonna score? Is he scoring? He is. Wow. Um okay. I guess that's an option as well. Mm. Yeah, so that's that's why I would have like I thought he had another turn of stall there, and I thought he was always gonna have another turn of stall after he went in, so that's why I would have gone in the turn before. If so you think that it would be so close that he will not scoring because of the witch. Yeah. But then at least you, the wizard's gone, isn't it? So. Because now you've still got the wizard's a problem, haven't you? I mean, it's fair enough. Yeah, Dolphar was wild. I still struggling. Yeah, I haven't been. I cannot even recall when I'm last on any of your streams here. Yeah, it's been a while. It is great to have you back. For sure. I guess I can see like the logic by scoring in turn seven is the it's the Nicholas two turn or it's it's there but it's still a little bit iffy. Um and then you definitely get your touchdown where if you try to stop one more, the wizard might stop you. Yeah. Um, and in this matchup, stopping might be fine if you can just go on your drive. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I, d I don't hate the scoring, but I just thought it was weird that the Necro hadn't gone in earlier because I feel like, you know, there was the option. Like, imagine if Binkit just stalls it. It's better, isn't it? Like, if it is better if... if Sorry, if Hezdon stalls it to late, it is better. And I just felt like... With Binkit not going in earlier, it, it just gave him more choices, didn't it? And stuff. Yeah, and being that many players down, like you could have tied up the different big guys with with zombies and mm. and at least hundred skinks or something instead mm. of just doing a Mexican stand up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That seems a bit odd. The problem with Mighty Blow Ghoul is that it was a, it was a ghoul. Mighty Blow Ghoul. No, honestly, a lot of people, KF I can remember this, a lot of people in in uh, in Living Rubric 4 would take Mighty Blow on the ghouls because, I mean, uh, okay, though, yeah, it's a Necro team, so it's a bit different. But on Undead, a lot of people would take Mighty Blow on the ghouls just because, you know, you've got a, then you've got a really mobile Mighty Blow tackle. But of, but of course, what happened with CRP was... Piling on came in, which meant that that was not something you would ever build because you you could have piling on stacking piling on on your whites is so much better, isn't it? So, so then they went out of favour. But they were quite popular back in the, back in the day. Mighty blow ghouls were quite were quite popular. It's definitely better on uh, an undead where you got four. Yes. Yeah. I think like like a necro, I normally just build blood sure hands and tried not to give him any more star player points and good necro. Yeah. If you didn't roll eight eighty, just keep him and blocks your hands, that's all it needs. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean I would definitely take a guard on I would have always taken guard on on, on Necro, like to be fair, but but that that was that was the thing in Living Room before it was it was a bit more and so so you know, Mighty Blow Ghouls will be more of a thing in Blood Bowl three and Blood Bowl twenty twenty, isn't it? If if they do it. You know they could save up for a double, but I guess not because it takes so much SPP. So probably. Yeah, I've, I've, 
we played our first season in tabletop. I think that was that was not many secondary getting picked because if you're playing a short league, especially you starve enough for skills that you rather just want want you normal. Yeah. Because you just want those skills. We also only play like a ten. No. Average around ten games before the playoff. But yeah. In that case, you just want skills. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? It's gonna, it's all gonna depend on like how long your seasons are and and redrafting and like you know all the, there's so many factors go into it, isn't there nowadays? And I was <laughs> doing random on any lineman just to like anything is fine for 10k. Yeah. When you don't think to get any more. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. Um. Yeah. Sneaky kid. Yeah. Yeah. And then save a dirty player potentially. Yeah. yeah. Sneaky kid is good. Yeah. The whole move, the whole thing where you can move, especially the whole you can move on afterwards is so good. Yeah. But now you. Yeah. Leave it out to dry. But now you can uh, run and run and hide afterwards, like yeah. a true, like a true dirty player. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, there's the positional cost of fouling. Like that, the, the, it's not only the getting caught. Because obviously, I tend to get caught when I foul, which is disappointing with the gym fouls. But there's also is the positional cost of fouling, isn't there? And now, yeah, obviously that alleviates that a bit. And, uh... I will take a sneaky git every day in the week first. Mm. But the thing is, it's sneaky git is a normal for AT players, so yeah. it's a completely kind of different type. Um, so, so especially on uh, AG players, you want sneaky get first because it allows them to move on after the foul. Yeah. So you can kind of uh, the, the drive-by fouling is uh, definitely more of a thing. <laughs> Glorious. Uh, and guard assisting for fouls as well. It's uh, pretty uh, cheeky. Yeah. I had a good fun with a uh, with a human catcher with sneaky get dirty player in that tournament. Yeah, it seems. It seems. Oh, oh, the right is huge. Yeah, it seems great for human catchers because, like, you know, obviously using a dirt, using a gutter runner to foul doesn't seem great, does it? But, <laughs> but using a using a shitty human catcher as a, as a dedicated foul seems great. But even um, I've seen even wood elf catchers people taking on that because you only get sent off for double on the second roll as well. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a bit. I think that's a bit. Excessive, not, just because they're good players, right? So yeah, like, they're not. If you got if you got a bribe as well, well, you the likelihood of rolling a double on the second combined to then roll having a two plus to save it, even if you do. <laughs> yeah, Shanva, but uh, you know, Chunt is a bit of a lunatic sometimes, isn't he? <laughs> uh, bribe, without a bribe, probably not. But but I've seen people do it. In a league team, I will not mind it at all, even. Just, uh, I I done it on slime catchers as well, just because they have so little removal. But but that in itself is really good. Right. Yeah, but like the thing with elves is they get it on linemen, like. Just yeah. give it to a lineman. <laughs> like, that's the thing, right? They get agility in general on linemen. Whereas with, with yeah, humans, you just with... can't. Yeah, it's just the movement, I think, the, with the catchers, is the whole movement and and dodge. So you mm. can. They're pretty reliable doing it. Yeah. Oh, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't do that. <laughs> I couldn't do that. But uh, I, think, I think humans are perfect for it because they've got the speed. And. Then just they, they actually, haven't got the action. Humans got another option as well. They got uh, the halflings now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen uh, people run two halflings with the sneaky git on both as well. <laughs> you go into town, so you got a sneaky git halfling for me for your towns. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? This was made a lot easier, wasn't it, for Binker getting that extra turn? Because now he's like, this was his setup. It was pretty good for hitting on the Alois, but then what does he do after that? But then, luckily for him, he's he's able to just waste a turn, smash it on the Alois. Disappointed it was not a quick snap. I thought you could only roll quick snaps. <laughs> yeah. When you're in turn seven. <laughs> yeah.
But yeah, hu a hu absolutely huge ride. It's such a difference between the two and three turn. <laughs> yeah, it seems it probably Muppet. Yeah, it, it does. It does feel like we have taken all of the quick snaps in Blood Bowl too. Ooh, GFI. That's exciting. Shouldn't he have fouled there? Um, Got if two you have, why does he have two dirty blind reserve and a bribe? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, neither, neither do I. I guess he thought well, he thought it was a two-turn drive, I guess, so he's not going to foul, is he, in a two-turn drive moment? Yeah, but he set up to hit everybody on the line of scrimmage anyway. Yeah, he did, yeah. yeah, yeah. So why not do bloody foul one of them? <laughs> yeah, I didn't like his... I didn't really hate his setup, but then he got a bribe. Uh, he got the riot, so that, that fixed it, didn't it, really? That is a, <laughs> the favourite thing about his eight strings three. That's the only good thing about it. And bloody expensive for the being block string three. <laughs> Favorite thing about the strength skink is it's not on my team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 how much is that skink? <laughs> 40, 70, fucking hell. Uh, it's what, what is 120? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 180, yeah. It's an expensive skink, isn't it? I start with dots, yeah, and then <laughs> one eighty for for a player that still disappears if you just look wrong at it. <laughs> yeah. And again, not one. He's he's not used it for anything than running around. Yeah, like the the Saurus are one seventy, aren't they? <laughs> the so the, the the strength these two strength five Saurus are one seventy each, and he's one eighty. Then we're blitzing the zombies and we can do and then if the two skinks can dodge free then everything is good see. Yeah. Are we moving over? Can we Oh. Oh maybe he's gonna chain chain one out? Yeah, this is a bad ankle because then you're standing in contact. Yeah. That's all I could think of. Me too. Maybe he's not. Maybe, maybe he's not. Maybe he just thinks he, you know, he's got strength there, and he's got strength everywhere, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. And this is fine, isn't it? He's just got strength all across. It's, the, mm, okay, no, it's he not. He's, he he. That wolf can get a. Uh, those skins definitely. Couldn't they put a skin there and getting a sour smell to the right side? And we not. We just. Put, what is? Oh, so he's stopping the tackle. Yeah, chin the tackle. Oh, oh. <laughs> Four, <foo. laughs> it's, if, if that 3 plus fails, though, then that wolf is standing by the sideline now in a cage in scoring range. It's still. He's still. This is not helping. Yeah, yeah. That is three dice. No, no, never happened, did it? Yeah, this is the only way you can go, isn't it? Yeah, down the side. Yeah. But it's so. But it's not even hard going down the side. <laughs> no, not he really. He can even. Uh, he can even uh, probably gang up around the strings tree and stand one one in from the sideline. Yeah. If he gets a power on the on the big dude. Yeah, this is... Oh, what? 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 You kidding me? <laughs> okay, well, Esdon's looking a genius now, isn't he? <laughs> um. he? He scored. The scoring early got <laughs> got Binkit to spunk away his wizard. <laughs> oh. 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 My head hurt. My head starts to hurt now. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that. <laughs> Very good. This, this. I mean, I guess he just thought that was his only way to score. But he got a movement eight eighty four block clutch player. 
Yeah. Yeah, you would have thought he would have... He could even do this one dice have been better. No, oh, man. I still don't think that's really great. Well, I guess he just doesn't see the, the blitz over there, right? I mean, you get, you get, you get, uh, you get tunnel vision sometimes, don't you, when playing and stuff? I guess now he can uh, try that skin call instead. Yeah. If somebody moves the, moves some zombies away to attack some stuff. Yeah. I still yeah. think it was a lot easier just to taking that hit and just run down in that side. Yeah, especially it's like yeah, especially just a save your wizard. Like even if you don't, even if you don't see the sideline play or don't want to do the sideline play, at least just start with a one D rather than that. The one D was better, but still fine. Like if yeah. that goes down, it's oh. Yeah, he isn't a, he isn't a wizard there, boy rowdy. And it's still having to hit that skink up the middle. It's still it was still a bloody sidestep skink if the tackle mighty blow is. Pushes. Yeah. He's still fuck going that way. If we're going to, to the big dude in the side, side pushes still works. Yeah. Um. Yeah. 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 He's got to do these, hasn't he, to get them out of the way for the tackle. Yeah. Or or the frenzy blitz. Yeah. Oh yeah, tackle frenzy. And tackle. Frenzy Both. is better. Both tackle and frenzy. It's pretty good. So, you, so again, why did we use the wizard? I, I don't know. I guess he just thought that was too risky. But... And then, like, if you score here, you win, basically, don't you? So I guess you know, there's that, there's that element of it as well. I guess. Yeah. If he if he thinks that bolting that guy, and then like yeah. obviously he's got he's got the he's got the tackle block tackle wolf. So like, he, I guess he just thinks. Bolting that guy, then he gets down. Then he, you know, that like gets him through the safest, and and then and then if he gets through safely, he's won. So I, I guess that was his thinking. But right, because like this was harder. It, you know, it, it obviously was harder to score by blitzing this guy and and getting around here pretty. You know, with with something is not as good as just obliterating this and going through and caging fully. So like I can see the point. I just think I would have uh, saved my wizard. I just still think that the odds of it going right was working was so high that it was not worth it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But, but but I mean, I guess that's what he's thinking, right? He yeah. he just didn't think the odds were that good scoring without it. And, and to be fair, if you do use the whiz to score here, you probably win. like you probably like using the whiz to like. There's no point just keeping it for your offensive drive. If you're confident in your offensive drive anyway, then you might as well use it here to 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 go one one win two one here. Eh? Yeah, I'm just not sure I'm that confident in his offensive drive after seeing this. <laughs> no, n n neither am I. But I can I can see the point. I'm trying to be more, you know. Yeah, you're less... trying to be positive. That's yeah, I'm fine. trying. I'm trying to be more positive. Yeah. Then then I can take the negative hat on. <laughs> yeah. I'm fine with that. Yeah. You just want to have an even playing field. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, uh... And it's still at least, I mean, it's not not like super hard to get the two dice if he wants to. Mm. Like that sows just blocks and then it's a t literally just a three plus away from the tackle. Yep. The two dice. Yep. yep. After all of that. <laughs> After all, all of, of that. that. Yes. There is the upside of Kazingosaurus. There, that you know, people do tend to undersell, I guess, the player that you, the the player or players that you're hitting with the wizard, and you can remove them. And in that regard, earlier is better. Like the threat of the wizard is good, but also just like if you get an early removal, it can make a big difference, can't it? So. I'm so tired. I was stupid playing among this for six and a half hours last night. <laughs> that was really stupid. Surely he's just gonna go for the three plus two D. Surely. And having a dive, and it will also even if he doesn't get down, there will be two diving tackles on the ball. Yeah. Besides, if you put him in a way so he can chain push them away, I'm not sure that's the right spot, but no. it's. Probably the fine spot if 
if you fail your three plus. No, it yes. doesn't really matter. He can go back both anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, it doesn't matter. And I probably want it. Yeah, you've got to see me pushing, so yeah, you want to do one to the left, yeah. Might as well reroll it. Yeah. You got block. You got two try. You got and. <coughs> I guess so. If he pushes him diagonally back, so he's only got one on the only one diamond tackle on the ball. You need to push it straight back now, right? Yeah. And, and then bring in something here. If if that, yeah. Could he have gone? Did he have enough movement? I guess this is okay. So he you can go. To, around. Yeah, he needs to make sure he had this, that he cannot just easily chain push them away or something. Certainly. Yeah. Our oh, chain push. Oh yeah. No. No. Okay. I guess that yeah. works. It's taking out the ghoul. Yeah. Yeah. This is fine. This is fine. Probably should have dodged that Sora, shouldn't he? Yeah. He could have freed up. To, no, he couldn't really easy. Um, probably it should definitely have just dodge the mm. uh, skinky bingy. Yeah. And take away the tackle. Yeah. Sacrifice itself for another tackle hit. I don't hate that. So that, so he's uh, left with only having uh, the, the fleshy. Ah, okay. So that no, that block didn't clear the way. No. So he should, yeah, he should, he should have definitely dodged with that Taurus like, like last move because punching yeah. punching this doesn't affect anything, does it? No. I don't think so. The frenzy blitz out is still on. Uh, I mean, not out, but you still got a dodge from diamond tackle if you frenzy blitz, so you might as well. Though. Yeah, because they both have sidestep, so he's not getting away. Yeah. But it might take you the wrong way. Is that a problem? It can't take you anywhere bad, I don't think. No. Well, he's not. He's he's just going. Oh, hand up to the ghoul. Oh yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, yeah, that's that. Right. Yeah, that is better. Well, not now. <laughs> not now. He's used it, the reroll. It isn't. But it's yeah. Still better. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, three plus. Yeah, he would have been seventy-five percent, wouldn't he? And now he's sixty-six. But if oh. that skink had been one to the left, like I wanted it to be, then that's. Yeah. Then he couldn't have followed up and then had added a dodge on top of it as well, or at least more dice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for correcting my ignorance, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, both sides to piece. But yeah, this was the right play, because he was unlikely to use the reroll there, wasn't he? Then he would have had a reroll for the handoff, so yeah, this was... Probably the best player. I don't hate that either. I like it. But I thought it was ghouls. I thought it was the wolf you had to hand off to when you played Midwood. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, what? 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 Oh, well, now, now the dodge is better, isn't it? Because now it is 75%. Yeah, yeah. So now he's used the wolf. Now he's used the wolf. No, oh, wait, it's plus 80. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah, he's used the reroll already. The dodge yeah, is just better, yeah. I keep forgetting that Wolf is 84. <laughs> so yeah, now it's 75. So I don't like I don't yeah, it's good. That's the right. And it Does it get it? Ooh. Oh it made it on the second one! Disgustress. <laughs> Look at dog. Yeah, I tell you what though, it really helped in the uh, three turns and a wizard. <laughs> Even though the wizard didn't work. <laughs> the riot was pretty. Uh, the riot was pretty impactful, wasn't it? Yeah, the riot was definitely more important than the wizard. Yes. Yeah, so the wizard, like, I guess you'd trade the you'd trade the you'd trade the wizard for that riot, wouldn't you? To be fair, like you would have paid 150k for that riot, I think. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> certainly not the wizard. <laughs> 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 The thing is, Muppet, if, if you notice the DT, then that's when it works. So, you know, you'd be much better not noticing the DT, dodging and, and, and scoring, yeah. 
Strength signature should have been shadowing. It, it would have been better there. That's, that's for sure. <laughs> it would have been better than strength there. Well, except he got, him two, he got 2D from the strength. So. Which could have powered, couldn't it? It was about two 30% chances. Yeah. Oh. oh dear me. So he's down a crocs. He's down. Yeah. No, he's down a crocs, but got plenty of players. Yeah. And he's kind of got two crocs anyway, so. And a strength three skink, so he's. He's overall probably not even down where he should be on strength, is he? <laughs> In fact, he's not. Because if you take away these two strength ups and put them on him, he's strength five like a croc. So yeah, he's got he's got the same total strength as a normal Lizardman team. <laughs> and the uh, Necro are not down at all. He's also down the blood step on a skin, but yeah, not down that much in quality. <laughs> yeah, the the <laughs> the uh, bribe seems a bit of a wasted inducement. The wizard definitely was. I'm sure we're going to see a masterful setup to get some fouling. <laughs> he could uh, he could do some cheeky blitz instead of hitting those in the back. He could do blitz in from the side to move one of them backward now. Yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Bit dangerous, though, isn't it, with these guards? Two guards there. Yeah, you can from the side when you get one of the guards, you know, blitz from the side, push one of the guards down. To watch yourself, yeah, and hit it even more backwards, and then uh, gang foul it. Yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty sick. That would be pretty sick. Or he could just blitz uh, skink with tackle mighty, which is probably what he's gonna do. <laughs> and probably also what I will have been doing. Yeah. Um, we can feel like there's there's no reason to believe he's not getting a good foul later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They definitely have swapped roles. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. <laughs> Muppet is vicious, it's true. Just like Among Us. How long is this game taken? My god. But the question is, does Muppet still need like a footstool to actually jump down on people when delaying down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I have a little... Uh, <laughs> Just a little stepladder. A little, step <laughs> little stepladder that he runs up. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll turn in well yet. Sorry. God, that was the best. Time to stuff like that. Ooh, quick snap. Oh, quick snaps the back. Boy, howdy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's rowdy. Right, I'll just be right back for a second. Come on, go for that. Now he can uh, he can move in on that uh, on on one of the strings five, including a, a gang foul setup. That's pretty good. Come on, Wolf. Wolf in. Wolf into square between the two du big dudes. Blitz the skink. More guys in. Wolf head. Foul. Oh, wrestle is fine. Wrestle is fine. Yeah, Robert, you can be a tree man on my, uh, my halfling team.
I'm sure you'd say a mob it on top of that. I do like it, the Scotlings. Quite enjoy that scene. What are we. Okay, so we're blocking the other way. Oh, dude, what's this? <laughs> That's pretty good. And I'm sure it's. Uh, so I could have a tree man called Moppet Pac Man. That could be the one crawling up myself. <laughs> God, are they both taking ages, or is it just one? It feels like it's fucking both. Yep. An hour and 11 minutes for half. Half a game. Yeah, Crocs has been out since turn early. Yeah, like turn two or three. Crocs no more. Come on. Wait, wait. That's your foul target, if the other one fails going down. Why are we not hitting that to... Oh. Oh. Does, it, does he beat Rick by just Rick getting just fucking bored to tears and clicking at random? <laughs> oh my god. Um. That thing on him. I'm, I'm baffled by all of this. Don't you just chain yeah. the fleshy back and then hit him into with a... Why? I just have no clues anymore. I thought you were uh, well, going for at least fouling one of those two dudes if big dude's still standing. I but do. I was, I was, His inducements are just for sure. <laughs> he doesn't want to use them. <laughs> but I was also inclined to hit the big dude with wrestle so you can get it down easier. Mm. It still can. Um, now the wolf just. Oh no, and now he's going to do it. Oh, can he get the guard wide around? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two nah. GoPros, and it's perfect. Nah, he'll, he'll just put this. He'll just, he'll just go. Two into oh. one, won't he? Two into one, or oh no, just just two into up hill and then and then foul. Yeah, just two into one. Two, three, four. It's gonna move the zombie, isn't it? Nah, two in two into up hill, and then the 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 zombie can foul. Just hit him on the two D. Just kill him on the two D. And then but you've why got... must he so fix it on getting the the wide free? If he... I don't know. Loud noises. There is a TP. Yeah, there is a DP zombie on the bench. Yeah, which is. Oh, like, just oh I guess if you, even if you get the pushes, you just foul the skink instead. Yeah. yeah all right. So he has GFI'd him round. But why? <laughs> Make it one dice, I guess. Yeah. Okay. And then you can foul with one assist. I would still do it on a skinky binky. Oh, you do it on the skink, yeah? I'll take the skink now, because that's, the big guy is not worth it anymore. Mm. I'll take the skinky binky and just get up in numbers. Yeah, that's, that's reasonable. He's just got to score, hasn't he? Like, it's 1-1, one, one, so... Just got just to make the drive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. We'll get a chance again on a bigger dude. Yeah. Right, sorry, I'll be right back again. <laughs> Not even for send off. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Moon Tree as well. It's brilliant. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's uh, definitely not been breathtaking speeds. Mm. It would be quite contrast looking back on this compared to we played three games in yeah, under three hours. At just about three hours. Yeah, that is the this is the problem with live games. Flip me. It's, well, here we go. What's what's this about? Three dice for for a push. Nice. Don't get too excited. Nice. Oh, so and then excited. if he'd powed, he would have got two D on the wolf. Yep. But he didn't. God, he's taken the full fifteen seconds <laughs> for push direction as well. <laughs> He's not a don't want extra zombie hits. Um. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, though, it is live, isn't it, Muppet? So, you know, it's like, I don't know, I like doing them live when I can and replays when I can't. But... It is a bit brutal. Yeah, like that's the thing there is. We could have done, yeah, Dimmy. Yeah, like that's the thing, isn't it? Like I think the replays are like better YouTube content. And just better content in general. But like, you know, at the end of the day, this is a stream, isn't it? And it's it's on and I wanna stream and it's here to stream, so maybe just do it, it's better. And some games move in a fairly okay speed. Yeah, yeah, it's just that this is fucking glacial, isn't it? <laughs> like, this is really ridiculously long turns. It's, it's because almost all the turns are... Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't doing anything else at all, isn't it? Yeah, what colour among us? I can't play anything but the white, the white, the white guy with the uh, sailor's outfit now. Like, I've just, like the captain, I've just got it. Like, I can't. I tried choose changing my colour and I just can't. And I tried changing my attire and I just can't. Like, uh, that is just me on Among Us now. I just cannot yeah. change. I cannot change myself. Yeah, PC not being purple is really sus, isn't it? Like, it just. Oh, God. <laughs> End the fucking turn, man! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Dimmy's blue, yeah. Yeah, Dimmy, Dimmy's gotta be blue with a knife in his head for me. That's 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 the real Dimmy. Yeah, red hair is red, is fair enough. Yeah, Muppet yellow with the scientist things. It's funny, isn't it? It's funny how, like... It's just weird if people aren't like what they're like. <laughs> Dimmy's only right if he's blue with a knife in his head. <laughs> yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Okay. <laughs> Thank God I know what Among Us is. <laughs> There's all sort of funny things you couldn't have done, but I'm not sure. Pretty sure it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Uh, big guard. Get big dude away. No, no, Muppet. Almost as if Mighty Blow isn't a great choice on a necromantic go. <laughs> At least he gets to hammer the skink anyway, with there not being a noticeable lack of. with there being a noticeable lack of guard on this, uh, this man team. I don't like moving the ball to the right and blitzing on the left, though. Like, shouldn't yeah, you be might. trying to support your yeah. team? But remembering that, it's slightly getting nightmares about watching a dwarf team with so many mighty blows 
slightly deliberate going out of his way almost to not hit with Mighty Blow in this game. <laughs> I think I did it with PC. That was hilarious. It mm. just seemed like he deliberately tried not to hit with any Mighty, Mighty Blow players. <laughs> and he had like six or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Skinky Bingy. That was a great iffy. I think I'm nope. talking Swedish. <laughs> oh dear. This is a this is a weird deliberate split of his team, isn't it? I feel like he's got himself into a lot of trouble here putting these four players in six squares. And like just literally inviting a team split, like this is a bit, a bit weird, isn't it? These four are also in six squares, so he's just put he's just put two little clumps of players with a thin line between them. This is pretty, pretty. Don't want to say it's completely terrible, but it seems pretty terrible. <laughs> There's the one. -er. <laughs> this is pretty and they, he now successfully walls off all three as well right you just get that like, this gets in the 2d and then he walls these all these four off just on himself they can dodge away to come back and everything can come in here and cause problems I sadly won't be very surprised if Necro don't win from here to be honest to me this looks like a pretty I mean, it'll take ten years, but it looks like a pretty good spot to get a lot, cause them a lot of problems. I'll not be surprised if we end in overtime at two-two because Nick ends up scoring early as well. Yeah, yeah. Not to survive that. Yeah, instead of just serving them zombies and get away from them, he's been uh, all in on hitting them. Yeah. yeah, it's weird when you've got the absolute perfect play at the stick on them as well, isn't it? 40 Red TV region. Zombie. Yeah, 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 either 40 TV region or 60 TV region with Wrestle, yeah, and like, yeah, particularly the Wrestle is the perfect play at the stick on them. <laughs> really weird to then just not stick it on them and, <laughs> and put in half of your team and then move the other half away like it's and he did it the other time as well didn't he like he, he, he uh other it was actually it was actually his dawn that like he put in two guys over here and then moved everyone else over it's like not good Have I ever played has done? Who oh, you have? Mm, did I concede? That's the next question. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't concede. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I thought I would have done. I can't take this just watching it. Uh. It's the power. Oh, he, he wasn't hitting the wolf. He was. I thought he'd run around and hit the wolf. Because if you were hitting that one, wouldn't you have... Uh, Hit with a strength five, maybe. Or I would, I wouldn't mind hitting the guard with a strength five and then getting him. Yeah. But right now he's just left one of his few guards to be mighty blow hit if he doesn't do anything more. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Fuck off, Jimmy. Hey. Thanks, EAB. <laughs> and why are we hitting with skinks? 
I don't know. <laughs> like he's guaranteed to get hit back by the fleshy. Oh no, That's it's so the other one. That's so many questions and I have so few answers. It's a weird game, isn't it? It's a weird game. Like, I guess it's just, you know, we just don't think the same as them. Obviously, they're both in the chalice. bink has got a good record. Hesdon's got a good record. Like, you know, they're, they're obviously... But, now, but Hesdon has uh, actively put... Wait a second. Yeah, Hesdon has actually put that... Sauros now on, on the zombies, like we told the other way around. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know... It's they've they've got to have just different ideas, haven't they? I guess. Oh wow! Look at that, Dimmy, Dimmy with conclusive proof. Who is absolutely the best player in the world? There you go. Nothing says definitive like a sample size of one. <laughs> and not being uh, the cup. <laughs> yep. Yeah, let's ignore that cup game. <laughs> What a result though! Chaos 1540 Chaos versus 1470 Skaven. That's pretty good. I think yeah, we're vaguely. Remember, right, there was not much Skaven left, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I seem to remember that. <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly, Muffet. Of course, we will ignore those today and the cup match. That's how news works. Ignore, ignore everything that doesn't fit your narrative. <laughs> That's how we got rid of COVID in this country. Yeah, it's yeah. not there. It's not there. <laughs> Just stop testing. Stop testing, idiots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. hell. It's, I mean, that's that's literally that's literally what Trump said, wasn't it? He said we're we're testing too much, and then like obviously someone in Downing Street was like, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> No, no, it's, uh, Bo it's Boris Johnson cancelling COVID as well. I mean, Putin kind of cancelled COVID in a way, right? Because what happened was, with him being in the news, they then yeah. changed They changed how they defined uh, how at risk people were from COVID. <laughs> so all of a sudden, overnight, it got a lot less dangerous. <laughs> and uh, there was no need for the media to report on that because they had a war report on that's what they always do, don't they? You've always got to watch for like what they're doing, what's happening, and what you know when there's like big news on. They always sneak out something. They always sneak something uh, out, don't they? Under the under cover of uh, like when there's something really bad happening, they like go, oh, ooh, ooh, we can we can uh, we can we can give ourselves a raise right now and stuff like that. They always do. They always do sh sneaky shit like that when there's something big happening. We can uh, we can cut. Yeah. He does the one to get the guard in for the tour into another tour. It was a one day with the wrestle. That was a bit unlucky, wasn't it? To skull. He must still still be quite com confident that he's going to uh, that he's going to score here because I mean it's two versus three rerolls now. He's lost the kick, but he doesn't follow to make that the follow up a two D, and he dodges. Okay. Foul the skink. Yeah, do it. Do it, you fucking pussy! <laughs> but he's got the bribe, hasn't he? Like he, he could have had a, he could have had a go at that skin, couldn't he? He could have done. Like he's trying to win in normal time, isn't he? So he, he probably should have done before before the dodge. Do, do, do you agree? He should have gone for the foul on the skin before the dodge. I've I've not hated it. Mm. Hate the bribe. Yeah, you got a bribe. And like you're trying to win normal time for sure because you've just rerolled, you've made that one day and rerolled it, so you must be trying to win in normal time. This is looking pretty good for for Hesdorn, isn't it? Really, he's got a lot of he's got a lot of stuff in the way. He can move. One of these Saurus back. It's on top, on top of the Necro sausages. But the problem is they can always break, can't they, with movement eight?
I just can't believe how long it's taken. An hour and a half. An hour and a half and we're on turn 11. We could have finished two games by now. <laughs> And it's not as. Yeah. And there's plenty of those turns that didn't need to take three minutes. Yeah, yeah. And, and like it's fair. Yeah, some were tricky. And it's fair enough that people take the time that they're allowed, you know, and it is chalice. And, you know, people can try their hardest and everything. And, and like, it's fine. It's not really, you know, it's not really uh, bad that they're taking this long, is it? It's just, it just. You just get fucking bored when you're watching it, don't you? <laughs> it's the problem. 11th SBB game. <laughs> Hello, yeah. yeah. I mean, the, these are worse because the extra 15 seconds as well, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's, that's brilliant, Team Man Taylor. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair, Muppet. I mean, it certainly works for for K Frog as well, doesn't it? He, he he was trying. He was. He, I remember him saying he was deliberately playing faster in uh in Blitz Pit to give his opponents less time to think. Yep. Yeah, to some degree, since I'm already used to playing pretty fast, and there's no reason why not. Yeah. It's not really fun. Tables are a bit the same. It's not actually that fun being the guided where if it always seems like it's your turn. Yeah. Yeah, I play I play way faster than everyone I've ever played in tabletop. Um, and it's it's pretty awkward being again being sitting there feeling it's always your turn. Yeah. <sighs> right. <laughs> So the string three bludge step diamond tackle is there. It's like it's, it's interesting, isn't it? He, are you not just? It's. Ooh. Are you going? If again, if we've been elves and I had a string four, I've been being blitzing that string five mighty blow down the field and just running down that corridor. Yeah. With elves, but Nicker is a bit more tricky. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, it is tricky for like. But if you blit if you block with wrestle on the middle, then you can get the ghoul around the corner as well. Yep. Uh, Problem is as well you can get squeezed then, can't you? It's only turn twelve, so you could go down there, but then the you know the the all the Saurus can come and squeeze you and uh you know, I, I wouldn't be I wouldn't mind just another turn of Doing fuck all. Doing fuck all, yeah. But taking the full three minutes to do <laughs> fuck all. <laughs> um, at least foul somebody. Do something. Oh, no, I think I'd just settle for spending my entire three turns and doing absolutely fuck all. <laughs> Seems like a great play. <laughs> oh. <laughs> why, we, why, is, why are we freeing up that dude? Then we need to follow up. Yeah. No, 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 we're just freeing up God. They could have been on that zombie. That would have been perfect. Zombie yeah. for a God Sour. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Well, I mean, yep, it's squig and a stick. It's, uh, it's Sunday now. <laughs> 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 but no, no missed action in the Blood Bowl game. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's just twenty-four hours later because it oh, surely a spawn semi spawn quiz and a touchdown getting trickier than it needed to be. But one one, yeah, that was a bit of action there. I know, but if you've been asleep since uh, turn seven or eight, that surely that was surely that was Saturday. You were you were watching this this game. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, at least they can get a mighty blow hidden on their skink now. Ah uh, yeah 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 yeah. 
pretty good. Three dice being skink. Don't hate that's that. That's pretty good, yeah, yeah, I quite like that. A good foul as well if the, if the zombie can, uh, one, two, three, can uh, dodge and do too good for it. Yeah, yeah. If that, yeah, you need to move that. Yeah. We might be, we might be close to World War Four before this is gone. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Dude, just fucking hit him! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh, Reddit was right. Okay, that was a good like. Come on, zombie dodge. Yeah, this could be devastating, fight. couldn't it? This zombie dodge foul to assist. Dirty player. Right. Surely. That, it's not doing freaking fuck all there. Run out of time. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Make oh, it no. stop! <laughs> Try that four plus dodge into to to go for it to foul. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, daylight savings just started in America. Oh, that means it'll be starting in England soon, doesn't it? Um, we getting away for. Twenty seventh. Twenty seventh. We still got two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two weeks. Yeah, the Yanks go two weeks before us, and it makes it makes for hell in scheduling, uh, yeah, scheduling yeah. games. I'm not sure in a modern society either. It's daylight saving time makes less and less sense. Yeah, well, they were they were talking about um, it, England being permanently on daylight savings time. And then, you know, uh, Germany and like France and all that abolishing it so that all of Europe would all be on the same time all the time. It's also bloody stupid Portugal and UK is in their own time zone. Yeah, yeah. With, with the rest of Europe. It makes no sense. Yeah. And then so th and then they talked about doing that, but then I think Brexit stopped it. But that, that's what they were talking about doing, just at, like abolish abolishing daylight saving time in Europe and then making it permanent here, which would be great. Let's be honest. Let's be honest, it's more likely now they will make their own time zone, like, one and a half. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Brexit means Brexit. That would, that would be, like, and that was years ago, that was like three years ago they were talking about that. But it would have been great, at, like, not having time zones, wouldn't it? Like, especially for us, because, yeah, daylight savings all the time in England would, would be better, I think. Would just be better, I don't see why it's not. It would be easier with whole of Europe being in the same time zone. It's not that big area. Yeah. And it's with only Portugal and UK being the only one on UTC. Yeah, yeah, plus one of UTC right now. It's bloody mad. <laughs> what did that skink do? I guess you cannot dodge out, but... He, he gets hit by Mighty Blow Tackle, doesn't he? That's what he's doing. <laughs> I think that's what he's doing. He's getting hit really hard by Mighty Blow Tackle. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's bait. For the blitz, because that looks like a really tempting blitz. So maybe, maybe he thinks he's got some kind of positional advantage that he can push with that hit. But and Iceland is third. No, Iceland is uh, following the rest of Europe. Mm. It, I'm pretty sure it's only Portugal and UK mm. in that time zone in Europe. I guess Portugal need everything they can to make them not look like Spain. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's why. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally, it probably is, isn't it? <sighs> Look 
update the sheet. Well, thanks very much for updating the sheet, Bob. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, it's good work. Yeah, I'm so sad it's not me anymore. <laughs> fantastic. Keeping Yak's ass up to date. <laughs> All, yeah. the, all the fun stuff happens in the ass. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, this is a, you know, this could be a big turn, couldn't it? Because now you could make a break and, and probably stall it out for the rest of the half. But how do you make a break is the question. Uh, not easily. Well, I mean, apart from just running through. But, you know, <laughs> apart from just completely running through, uh, it's a little bit tricky. <laughs> You mean, besides, if you can uh, get that... Oh, no, it could be in a bad spot. It's the uh, sidesteps king, so if yeah. it doesn't remove it, it's a bit awkward. Yeah. Still think uh, you hit it, though, and see what happens. Yeah, I think you do. And you hit it with the... You can go, go with the... You can even do it with the, the wolf to get more dice to make sure it goes. Yeah. Majority of people attacked on the left side. Mm. Oh no. Nope. That's mm. uh, we not moving much forward. But, yeah, okay, if you wanna stay that's not bad either. That opens up the next two to get hit. Yeah, and you can nudge forward a little bit, can't you? Like this is this is this is fine. You can still hit the bloody skin if you want to. Yeah, I think you, I think you do, and then and then that gets you down. It gets you a little bit down the field, and a little bit ready to uh, to bust it's through the, next turn. They might be playing fumble on the side, you never know. <laughs> yeah, Gloma, Jesus Christ, it's horrible. I mean, this is pretty. But like, I know it's not really torture because obviously torture is actually horrific. You couldn't have, but... you couldn't have been in one of them. <laughs> yeah, sitting in the game. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty rough, isn't it? It's pr it's a pretty rough watching experience. Okay, he's not hitting the sideline one, he's hitting this one. Yeah, it's a bit better. It kind of because it frees up the, the next blocks a lot easier getting... You needed to kind of tack that skink anyway. Yeah. Because they both guard in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is better for not going, because then, yeah, you get this 2D and then that 2D. Okay. One of them was, yeah. And then you can tag that annoying thing. Yeah. yeah, this is pretty good. Pretty good. Blitz one, tag one. Make two, two Ds. Yeah. Keep the ball central and then punch down next turn. You're leaving it a little bit late. But yeah. But that's good, isn't it? You don't want to go too early. If you so. just had a wizard now instead. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? The problem is the uh, left hand side is really so left hand side. <laughs> oh. Again, I, I really don't I don't like his uh, he seems fixated on pushing stuff back instead of thinking yeah. where do we get them stuck? Because again that was potentially freeing it up. Yeah. At least make it easier to free it up. Where, where's the ball going? Going up to the right behind those two. Look at me. <laughs> I mean, this is a very easy 2D on the ball, isn't it? He could just move. Like, again, he could have... Yeah. Got, two, got a zombie. Got two zombies. He could move. Just At least one of them. Oh, my God. Like, how do you run out of time? <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah. That's how you on turn 14, native. Yeah. So if you power this guy, which you don't, obviously, you would have got 2D on the ball. Easy, wouldn't you? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, GFI, GFI, and then he yeah. just dodges and tags, and then you... Oh, wow, he re-rolled. Okay, that's a, bit, that's a bit rich for my blood. I guess you're losing anyway if you don't do anything. It might be your best chance. Yeah, maybe. And that's 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it less now. I don't like using Yeah, but, but when you used to reroll, like, if you don't try it, what do you do then? Then, uh, I think you, then you just hit him again with this guy, right? And then blitz with this. Yeah, but now you're used to reroll if you don't go for the hit. 
Are you just just hitting a goo? Oh, after using the reroll, I don't know. I wouldn't have used the reroll. No. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe tag the tag the zombie and two D the ta mighty blow tackler. Maybe. Surely you need to put some pressure on, otherwise he's just marching up now. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. You got the, you got the side step goal that can go around from one side. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then can do two go for it as well, and then you don't need to do the three plus dodge. Yeah, but you haven't got a reroll, have you? So it'd be be you'd be better off. Yeah, but if you don't do it, then the size the diving tackle might do something. If oh, you, you mean go on here? Yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, and you don't four, have three. Five, six, seven, eight. One GFI. One GFI. Yeah, if you do two three pluses, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's got to be better, hasn't it? Two three pluses. Yeah, and you, instead of dodging away from tackle, hell yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he runs and there, tags, and then he blitzes, and then you've even got recovery, maybe yeah. kind of semi. But you probably take strings three in the middle of the pitch just in case. Yeah. It's, this, this is still going on, yeah, Pedro. <laughs> people, I think people watching are only like 20% attention at best now. It's just like, you know, slowly dropping into a coma as you, if you try to pay attention to this match. <laughs> we saw time zones and everything. Yeah. This match is in its own time time zone now, I think. <laughs> okay now. <laughs> I'm melting. <laughs> um I guess you back to blitzing the ghoul and hoping for a pow. Yep. I think that is it now, yeah, after using the real Doesn't seem like a lot of gain from that reroll. No. <laughs> What's the maximum length of a Twitch stream? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, how many hours of action? None, Wayne Farah. But the match has lasted for 1 hour 47 minutes. But, um, we had 3 hours of action before this. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, there was there was, there was was glorious 3 action. There was 3 action. The 3 hours of action was brilliant, yeah. Uh, Kev Corfool and I played... Um, I wish I could pronounce your name, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go with Cole, it's fine, you don't need to put four. Yeah, that's a good point, yeah. Yeah. Core and I played three games of Blitz Pit style matches with our teams, and it was glorious. And then, after those three hours of action, we've had... This. This, yeah. This. <laughs> this is what we've had <laughs> for an hour and forty-eight. It's like being like watching a rebel game. Oh, I don't know. Wednesday, at some point, Rick Baseman. <laughs> Sometime on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, if 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 Nico doesn't score, I might officially give up. <laughs> oh God, oh God, he's he's dub scold. Why have you... I don't know why you don't just hit him with a white and then try and dodge it off the ghoul to support this Yeah, and get, push. It, and get it. Every, that would mean everyone could have gotten away. Yeah. I guess you get three dice now, because now mm. you bl surely blitz it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. everybody could have been up in a square up and... Yeah. Oh, wait a second, that's the part of the pitch we don't run at, right? <laughs> Yeah, true. It's officially the dangerous part. <laughs> Sora is solved harm to get away from the match. Jesus Christ. That's probably bad for people who know anybody that, that have done things, but uh, yeah. <sighs> Doing an irrelevant block first? Why not? Um, It does give you. If it had been a power, you had gotten a. No, you hadn't. It was the plus drinks. Yeah, we're giving you a one day. Wrestle. 
I guess he's got the zombie there. Well, is that the move three zombie? Yeah. yeah so. so you had a chance to get a extra player free, but I still think that Mutri should just tag that st strings plus as just standing there being annoying. Yeah, but he'd have to GFI, wouldn't he? So you've got to make this blitz first. Oh my god, he's blocking him. What is he doing? What is he doing? He's yeah, literally apparently. blocking. Are you going to, are you ready to see a red hot action? So he's only getting two players forward. And he gets no. back on the ball. Way. Now he can blitz on 3D. Woo. Which he could before as well. Yeah. It might not even worth it. Oh, yeah, he needs to. It's a diving tackle. Yeah, yeah, he's got it. Yeah, now he finally gets him. And he's just got to stay here again now? Maybe. No, surely not. I'm not sure where to run, though. Yeah. <laughs> it seems... It seems <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, oh, Dimmy. Dimmy, no. No. No, Dimmy. Why, no. Man, why, is, why is that a dirty player not tagged yet? That... He's, he's got a GFI, he's the move three, isn't he, the dirty player? Oh, you're right. <laughs> he's flipping move three. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah. And, you do, and then dodge out with that wide so we can get at least. Yeah. If he doesn't run out of time first. <laughs> Which there was a chance. <laughs> okay, so that wide is out. It's not going to do anything. Yeah. Uh, runs backward. So next turn is going to be lost. Yeah. Should that wide have been forward to be a station for next turn? Yeah. 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 Or at least stayed over there and you had something to run f one up to. Yeah. Picks of oh no. Oh god no. No, Dimmy so Dimmy, ban yourself and Wayne Farah. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Anyone who says this isn't over. <laughs> opposite Elliot. Oh, we'll be opposite Elliot. Anyone who says this isn't over gets banned. <laughs> Please just make it stop. <laughs> He's gonna leave it a bit thin. Lucky for him, move Wolf at moment 8. Yeah. Yeah. Because Elliot was saying how the game wasn't over, he was playing, he was playing somebody and like, you know, the guy had about no chance. And he's like, don't say it's over, don't say it's over! <laughs> and now he's like, just don't say it's gonna go to overtime, please! Please! <laughs> please say it's over! <laughs> so, two skins activated to take one zombie down. Mm. Hallelujah. Do you reckon, Volk? I don't know. I think I think I've been uh, impromptu twenty-four hours dream. Yeah. Oh, dub oh. skulls! <laughs> I've refrained it's from done. calling anybody penguins. Look. Yeah, PC, PC goes a bit rowdy. I've noticed. I think probably even I am. Yeah, yeah. At least, uh, maybe not in the language. <laughs> maybe more in my disappointment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But just this game has made me not just you know, just made me want this game to end. <laughs> it's this game's fault for making me want this game to end. <sighs> yeah, Jim Davidson, isn't he? Yeah, he's he's <laughs> They've both been pretty slow in. But especially has... Uh, uh, no, it's actually Binky has been running out of time at least twice. Yeah. The players yeah. left to move, that could move and maybe should move. Yeah. He's got more oh. players though, hasn't he? It's harder for him. <laughs> <laughs> He's got 11 players to think about. At least at <laughs> least Hesdorn's had a bunch of cards to make it easier for him. This, this time he cannot just stand. You know, he, he has to, to move. Do it's turn 15, he has to move. Surely. 
and can run the, the strength five cannot reach all the way so they can still be one in right <sighs> six seven eight so you can be uh, one square from the sideline mm. so if you just blitz with the guard wide and move it inside at least we can get some players forward yes yeah i like that i like that blitz because you've, you've got one square of lateral movement with a wolf haven't you very old to go the seven, other way now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight. But you could one, two, three, four. Yeah, five, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's only one go for it to mark uh, the big dude if you go yeah. that way. Yeah, and then that takes you away from the blood step and diamond tackle, yeah. Yeah, That's don't hate coming it. Anyway. It's coming anyway. So. Yeah, but it just makes it things a little bit trickier, doesn't it? Like, I'd rather somebody was moving six squares to hit me than three or whatever. Like old standing on? Tell you what, the the end of turn ghoul dodge could have been great, right? Because if it triggers the diving tackle, then, then your wolf can then just move up for free, can't he? Yeah, you hit the free dog with the wolf, but I'll probably I'll just try to run away with the wolf, yeah. yeah. I'll block that way, that works as well if it had been wolf down yeah but it's still fine you can still now push it out of the way and go to that side it's probably a slightly easier because you know you can get out of range from the big dude hitting you oh. and you can get tackle up on those two skinks at least one of them yeah uh, hey Rolex no Niagara I think Mighty Blow on the strength five is pretty decent. I mean first of all one he took it first, which should have been guard. But the other one I think once you got strength five like obviously guard is really good because you've got strength five guard, so it's you know, like out of date and gardening probably, but Mighty Blow's pretty good because obviously the the way to deal with the strength five dude is to oh, yeah. uh you know, hang a zombie on him. And if you've got mighty blow, then then he can free himself up like that. And I'd rather do. I'd rather free my player up by mighty blow, casting somebody than uh, only two plus dodge. <laughs> yeah. yeah, congrats with the thousand nerf games. Wow. That's a lot. That a That's lot, not yeah. that many. That's not that many. That's some. <laughs> okay, so we not. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to go for it more, right? He's going to have to make one GFI. Oh, but it's well, not even in range. That's gonna... a way to go for it. He's just, he's just on the edge. If he gets pushed back, he can't score, right? Yes, you're right. Why didn't we go for it one more? And then, because the white has a movement more to go forward as well. Everything yeah. could have been one square forward on them. Yeah, and more diagonal as well, right? At the moment, this is. Uh... This is. I don't like this at all. Uh... And that's a string tree. He just needs to run around. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the white cannot. The white have been scoring for it as well on the push yeah. forward. This is bad. Yeah. Sorry, this is definitely bad. Oh, okay, the the hero zombie tags him, but which is the, nice. You've still got a tree, pl literally, <laughs> tree plus for a tree plus to push the wolf out. Yeah. I'll take that all day. Yeah. The week. Yeah, there's one scoring threat, because he's not in range at all. And so if you blitz him and push him back, he's not in range either. And you've got side steps. And, and, and for one bloody go for it, there have yeah. been two, and he couldn't get pushed out. Yeah. Oh my god, it really is looking like overtime. Oh god, it's gonna take him two minutes to do this move as well. <laughs> oh. The only thing to do, he could even. Uh, Heston could actually if In theory, also score. Yeah, yeah, he could, in theory. I'd uh, say it's more about CCL than anything else. Bink um, at 63. Isn't that about my... I'm pretty fast, aren't I? Muppet's on 51. Jesus Christ, Muppet. What's wrong with you? Yeah, 59. So he's not that much slower, is he? What's Hesdo? 
Here we go, this is the 1D. Ooh! Back to Reba. I'm not even blinking. He doesn't I'm Reba. I'm Reba that in a heartbeat. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's too easy from the score, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, you've got to. Yeah, it's just too easy from the score. It's you've 3 plus, to. like, that's. Even if you've scored out, it's still fit. Yeah. Like, it's your last re roll. And. You know, so going into overtime without re rolls would suck, but yeah, it's just it's just too easy for him to score here. You need it? to get into re overtime. Yeah, exactly. It's just too easy for him to score. That's the thing. Yeah, it's it's way way too easy for him to score. Way too easy for him to score here. So yeah, it has done seven. Done seventy yeah. minutes. I think mine is 61 or something as well. Mm. But that needs two to tango. I mean, it's still pretty fucking easy to watch, isn't it? Okay, this, now that helps. A cheeky 5 plus dodge. But that helps a lot. Still not... I still think it's better doing having a 3 plus to instantly know he doesn't score. Yeah, I agree. I agree, to be fair, but I can understand not wanting to roll the dice. You get it. Because it takes up the zombie, so he can't, the zombie can't fill in a square for, like, uh, sidestepping, right? Well, on the 3 plus, it was literally. You would win. Yeah. Even, even because, it, and even with the 84, if we saw the other way. Well, it's not a 3 plus to win, is it? It's a 3 plus to get to overtime with very few players, but yeah. Yeah. But, again, but that's. Oh, mm. but three, three, to actually get a chance, a better chance of overtime. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, because God. right now. Because Red, another one. But that's. He needs to watch out, he doesn't end up just making other options easier. Yeah, freeing up the flesh, he could be huge. But right now you just hit the sidestep, but that's because he cannot sidestep forward. Can that made it a bit awkward. Yeah. But it's still been easier just rolling a three plus. <laughs> re roll. Yes. Can you sidestep and push anybody? That's nothing really. I think you just have to have to. I will probably almost be tempted to. Oh, wait a second. Oh, yeah, he didn't move the wolf, he just blocked with the wolf. Yeah, yeah. Still didn't understand that either. Nope. Um, I would be tempted to just do the. Can you get the three dice? One, two, three, four. Two go for us to make a three dice on, on that. Mm. Three dice? Yes. Yeah, you, you can get the, the fleshy around on two go for it. Could be an option, or you just two dice it and see what happens. Take to, it from there. To, to where? To hit the... To hit the... No, oh, it's a plus string skink. Yeah. So you have yeah. To just blitz it with the guard wide and see if you roll a power or not. Yeah. Take it from there. If yeah. you sidestep next to tackle, you could... Okay. I was saying if you sidestep next to tackle, then you just hit it with tackle. Oh, so you can chain this tackler onto it. That's, it yeah, that's, that's alright cool. as well. And that's I got the guards cool. to do it. That was what really happened with getting all the people free. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? I like that. Um, but it's still... You still need an assist on it now. Yeah. But the flesh is free. No, that he needs to pa he needs to cash it because otherwise it just go. No, that's two squares to go to. Yeah. But if it goes to the side, then yeah, yeah one really go for the yeah. Because he hasn't got any lateral yeah, movement. Good. He hasn't got any lateral movement available, has he? He has to go for yeah. every square. Oh, oh that's shit. You can't re-roll it, can you? Can you? No, I think there's too too many guys to roll. Just give up. I think there was too many dice roll afterwards. Personally, to score. 
If you get if you get the five the, the five plus is the problem. If you get the five plus, what is it then? Then it's three plus. It was pretty bad that the other one fell down. Yeah, and Jim rerolled me, isn't it? And yeah, all right. So he's got a hit on the ball, and yeah. he just powers him. Yep, he does. Yep. All right, oh, here oh, we oh. go. Come on, this is. Now you can block him. Oh, perfect, and you can block him for free, and then it's a. Oh my god! Not really. Not using this reroll was genius. Yeah. Three plus three oh, plus yeah. to win. Oh my god! Who knew he could uh, make two thousand dodges? <laughs> oh god! Oh Let's come on, Nesto! Save us! Save us! No! 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 Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Thank God! Thank God! And no offense to Binkit at all. Just thank God it's over. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh. Oh. Thank God for that. Wow. It's over. We uh, made it. <laughs> Thanks, God. What a what a long, tedious match. Yeah. <laughs> just, just do two five plus touches. Everything will work. Yeah. Um. Yeah. There you go. It just ended. Um. Congratulations, has done. Commiserations, Binkit. <laughs> Thank you very much, Carl, for coming in and doing the commentary. Very nice of you. And, uh, You're welcome. I, I don't regret it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. Yeah. Thanks for